City officials unveiled the Latasha Harlins playground sign in honor of the murdered teenager. A liquor store owner shot the 15-year-old girl over a bottle of orange juice in 1991. Killed by a Korean liquor store owner in 1991, Harlan's killing is believed by many historians to have been a precursor to the L.A. riots that followed a year later. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in South L.A. at the Align Sutton Recreation Center, where emotions still run high decades later. Cara. Good morning, Suzanne. During a period of time when we've all really refocused on the value of each life, Latasha's Harlan's family says they take great comfort in this, a playground that now bears her name. Her grandma tells us she loved coming here to play. Children still play here, and this tribute couldn't be more fitting. This is my commandment that you love one another, you know, and everything, and bring unity uh, for all peoples. Today, the grandmother and brother of Latasha Harlins clutched one another as the new playground sign at this South L.A. park was unveiled. They paused to remember her on the anniversary of one of L.A.'s darkest days. April 29th, as we know, is a historic day in L.A., but it's also now a day of celebration. Harlan's death came amidst the growing racial unrest that led to the L.A. riots. Back in 1991, the 15 year old lost her life in a liquor store over a bottle of orange juice. The clerk said she thought Harlan's put it in her backpack to steal. The two struggled, and as Latasha walked away, she shot and killed her. Investigators later said Latasha died with the dollars to buy it clutched in her hand. The tragedy happened just 13 days after the videotape beating of Rodney King. Her being a young 15 year old, I feel like that whole story was very overshadowed by the Rodney King incident. Now local artist Victoria Casanova has painted a mural with her words. A documentary tells her story and a scholarship has been created in Latasha's honor. Her family hopes others will look up and be inspired by the 15 year old who said she wanted to help those who actually need it. Create more love. Just bring love back to the community, you know, uh, bring more value back. And Suzanne, as her grandmother put it this morning, what a legacy.